Thank you for stopping into another video. My name is Chef Lance and you are tuned in to Deja Food and Decor TV. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to all of my Deja foodies. How you doing? Our subscriber count is growing. With that being said, why don't you be a part of the growth and hit that subscribe button right now. As well as that notification button so that you'll know when new videos are loaded right here at Deja Food and Decor TV where we are everything food. It doesn't cost a dollar. So when talking about convenience in the kitchen, there is one appliance that I totally feel is underrated, the crock pot. So for those of you who are looking for a super simple recipe that you can just throw on and then go about your day and come back and enjoy, you want to sit tight for my crock pot slow cooked oxtails. I promise you this recipe won't let you down. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so I promised you a super simple recipe and that's exactly what I'm going to deliver. Some of the ingredients that I'll be using for my oxtails are going to be the oxtails themselves, as well as chicken broth, sea salt, some pepper. I have a little bit of Cajun seasoning that I don't have here, but I also have a cut up uh, potato, some cut up onions, some cut up carrots. We have some garlic and some fresh ginger, some bay leaves, some rosemary sprigs, some Worcestershire sauce, some soy sauce, and some olive oil. That's all the ingredients you're going to need, you guys. And I'm going to braise my oxtails tails because we're going to have them in the crock pot you do not have to braise your oxtails i repeat you don't have to braise your oxtails but for those of you who like to braise your oxtails i'm going to go through the entire step of braising the oxtails before putting them in the crock pot with all of this flavor giving you these outstanding crock pot oxtails. so the first thing you want to do is you want to rinse your oxtails now i rinse my oxtails in just a little bit of um sea salt and water I rinse my oxtails really, really good and I get them in a bowl. Once you get those in a bowl, you want to pour in a little bit of the um, Worcestershire sauce, get a good coating on the tails with the Worcestershire, and then you want to season with just a little bit of sea salt, and you also want to use some black pepper in that. And I was telling you guys earlier that I didn't actually um, have a picture of the Creole seasoning that I use, but I do use a Creole seasoning. I believe it's by Tony's. Um, I'll have to do a review on that seasoning at another time, but you want to add that Creole seasoning into the oxtails as well. Now, to braise these, you're going to add just like a little bit of flour, roughly a couple tablespoons of flour, because you want to coat all of the oxtails with all of the seasoning and all of the flour. And we're actually going to wrap that all up once we mix it up and sit it in the refrigerator for about... 25 to 30 minutes as we get the oil in the pan ready for us to braise these oxtails to go into the slow cooking crock pot okay guys so now we're going to go ahead and get our pan and we're going to put some olive oil in that pan and let that olive oil get really hot and then we're going to start to lay those oxtails into the pan um we're basically just going to braise these so you're not trying to cook the oxtails all the way through you're just trying to seal in that flavor by braising those before we put them in the crock pot so go ahead and put all of your oxtails in your pan to braise um, once they've actually gotten a nice coating on one side then you're going to go ahead and flip all of those oxtails so that you can get a good crisp um, seal on the other side of the oxtail once you've gotten the oxtails all braised then it's time to go ahead and put everything into the crock pot and let the crock pot do the rest so for those of you guys who did not braise your oxtails you would just put your washed oxtails into the crock pot but i actually am putting my braised oxtails into the crock pot and now we're going to add the other ingredients you want to go ahead and put your potato in with the oxtails have some fresh cut carrots we want to go ahead and add that in with the oxtails as well then you're gonna add in a diced onion. I like a lot of onions. Go ahead and add in your freshly chopped garlic cloves. This ingredient is very important. You wanna add in your sliced, your thinly sliced ginger. And we're gonna add in sprigs of fresh rosemary. We can't forget to throw in a couple bay leaves in there as well.
Now, you guys don't have to do this if you've braised your oxtails, but I just put in a little bit more Worcestershire sauce. Now, if you did not braise your oxtails, please feel free to season additional salt, pepper, the Cajun seasoning you can even add in with the raw oxtails before you turn on your crock pot. But then you want to add chicken broth. And what I tend to do is I fill the crock pot beyond the point where the oxtails are. So you kind of want to cover the oxtails. But then once you've added all of that chicken broth in there, you want to give everything that you have in the crock pot a good stir. And you're going to turn your crock pot on high and these you can kind of leave in for about five hours on high and they'll be totally done. Now with me, what I tend to do is I tend to put mine on high for maybe like three hours and three hours in. I come and I turn mine down and I actually let them sit on for an additional three hours. And what you end up with, guys, listen, let me tell you, this is a super simple recipe. Everything is done in the crock pot and what you have to enjoy once your time of five to six hours is through is some phenomenal, tender, wonderfully seasoned oxtails. Now, I did want to add in a couple of factors for those of you who like a thicker gravy to your oxtails. There are a couple of ways that you can actually get a thicker gravy to your oxtail. So let's look at those really quick. One of the things that you can add in is cornstarch. I'm going to actually do a separate video about breaking down cornstarch when you are adding it to various recipes in order to thicken the gravy of a recipe. I'll put you on to some real game. If you want to add or thicken this sauce, what would be great is to put in a couple tablespoons of instant mashed potatoes. <laughs> Let it sink there in. There you have it. My super simple slow cooker crock pot oxtail recipe. So thank you guys for tuning in to another video here at Deja Food and Decor TV. And I wanted to take this time to say happy Black History Month. Although I feel people of color should be celebrated all year long, the month of February has been designated to celebrate the accomplishments of people of color. So stay tuned. I have a video coming up for you as we explore the contributions of African Americans to culinary arts. So I hope to see you guys next video. And as always, you have a delicious day.